In this video, we're going over creating a user guide like this for onboarding your users using the non-code system user guiding. Now, please check us out at no-code devs and subscribe to the channel below. Check it out. So to create our user guide, this is the system we're going to be using. It's called userguiding.com. Uh, this is the homepage. It's got a lot of cool different products, as you can see here. Segmentation, online checking, a checklist, customization, and of course, no code required. Analytics. Yep. So you create an account here, and this is your dashboard. So your dashboard will be the analytics bit here, or user uh, analytics here, and your different guides. So for today, I want to create a guide for this form I created in Editor X. Right, so let's go. So we've got a new guide. Tester, one more one. Let's grab the URL, copy, stick that in there, and it comes through here. And what it does at the beginning, it gets you to, when you first log in and create an account for user guiding, it gets you to uh, download the Chrome extension, which I've done already, which allows you to go to this. Right, so I can see, you see the modules, it's got loads of cool different modules, welcome model, hero model, choose your side model, so it's like, gives you options, gives the user options, new feature. Right, so for here, I want to create a welcome model. I'll change the logo, devs, logo, open, change the writing, just click into it, it's really easy to do, CD, there we go. And as you can see, it lets you put where you want the model to go. I'll keep it in the middle. That's absolutely fine. It lets you do where the width is. Background shadow. I don't like background shadow. The quick colors, the icon colors. So I'm going to change those. There we go. And the advance is the interval, the interaction. Right. Let's save that. So as our welcome to our, for our onboarding process. Right. So now we click save. We can even preview it. There we go, just done straight away. And now let's create the next step. So for the next step, I want to put it for input field and we'll fill required. As you see, it goes onto this, it gives you example, it gives you what tells you what to do on, on the right hand side there. Right, so I'm going to here, uh, fill uh, name. It gives you a fill required, all this kind of stuff for your custom CSS selector. It gives you some options for your input design again get rid of backdrop change my brand colors there we go and the advance against the interval so that's part two of our user guide so let's preview this again so that goes in there perfect and then the previous is that so you go next that done perfect so the next step what i want is what these are is different as you can see the different designs for it so you can do it where your logo is there as well so you can have your logo on every single step. No cool verbs. Save that. And let's preview this now. There we go. So as you can see, the different kind of designs you can have. Quite a straightforward one there. And one with your, your logo in there. Perfect. What we could do for the next step is to wrap it up and finish. Let's get my face out of the way. This button here. Right. So again, we're going to change the logo to our logo. No cool terms. So and put a little message you have completed the form really basic what you can also do look is add extra bits to these pop-ups so i want to do here gives you an option text image hero video so i want to add a video to this so we've got a video embed i'm going to find a youtube video so we're going to use this youtube video that i've made before what we need to do is get the embed link so all we do is on the share, not the share link, you want to the embed and grab this bit of code here, copy that, so embed this video, come back to here and put the embed code in there. And there we go. So you could look, do video, you can also do a video user guide as well. So as you're going through, all you have to do is add a video every time. So people can not only have to read the forms, if it's a bit more complicated and you think that your onboarding process needs video content, video guides, you can create that quite easily, have you just seen. So that's that done. There we go. Say, let's save that. Perfect. Now let's preview that step. Apply now. Video. We completed the form as you're finishing off the video. So let's look at this user guide we have created. Now, so if you go back into here, you can play the user guide all the way from the start. So let's play this. Next, fill out the description. And it allows you to put to next again. Uh, this here. I think I've used the wrong 
modal, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, you've probably used that one there for that. Next, finished, got a video to showcase what you can do and done. That's it. Very simple walkthrough, user guide for using your system. What we could also add to this is add a step, potentially add a privacy disclaimer, it says there, or a survey. Do you want to take a survey? Yeah, we'll have that. So we've got a video and do you want to take a survey? We can add your own GIF as it's done there as well. Yeah, perfect. So that'd be it. So that is our user guide. Really straightforward system. So from here, so that's the last step on this on this user guide. It's a very simple user guide. Now, how do you get this user guide onto your website? So what we need to do here, click back into user guiding dashboard. So you know, you go into settings, as you can see, you can see where it's redirected. You can see the container. Um, you can do a schedule. You can do it only once, or you can do it many times. Custom triggers different kinds of audiences as well, which is really cool. Right, so to activate this, it's a complete installation. You go complete installation and you want to install manual code, right? So if you want to email, if you've got devs and obviously you might be using email your devs, you can go to Tag Manager, but what I want to do is manual code. So get into the manual code bit here, right? Go to the container code. So you go into settings as it says there. So user guide, container, show. I said copy and paste this code here, code snippet. It says here, copy and paste this code into the head section of every web page where you want to show the content to, you, to your users. So copy this. Now, in your EditorX website, you want to go into the back end bit, which is here. You want to go to settings, which is here. Custom code, advanced bit settings, custom code. It says you need to upgrade because I've got a paid subscription on this at the moment for this website. But as you can see from the website, I've got subscriptions, uh, a paid subscription with that no code devs one here. You can go into this custom code settings again and you're going to add custom code, paste your custom code in there, change the name of it if you want to. All pages or just choose pages depending what what kind of use guide you're after, uh, you've created and it goes into the head section. There, place code in head section. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check us out, no code devs, and keep on building. <laughs>